Good morning, folks, and today we're waking up at a vineyard uh, next to the shop that sells all their local products. It's breakfast time. Emily's down there chomping away. Mm -hmm. So last day of work today, she's very, very busy. She's too busy for you lot, apparently. I've got stuff to do. Hi, I've got... I was about to say, I have got stuff to do. You look really busy. I don't start work for another 42 minutes and yet I've done two phone calls. Whinge, 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 whinge. Anyway, this vineyard's pretty cool. It's probably the only, we're still on the island, by the way. We're still on the island, but we are leaving in a day or two. And it's probably the only free place to stay. So we're going to wander over, get some jam or something, because we don't drink wine, and then hit the road and go to one more town on the island to explore there before we leave. There's Joni, still asleep in Tilly. And then behind us there, there is a main road, and it is a little bit noisy at rush hour, but at night it's pretty quiet. Behind the scenes come by. Emily's getting some... Uh, stuff for a shit talk, what I call TikTok. <laughs> some behind the scenes stuff there. I'm going to get dressed and then yeah, we are going to get on the road. Get that away. <laughs> Always bloody filming me. Oh. oh my god, the cheek of it. Right, let's get this van tip top in ship shop shape and then yeah, let's go. Well, you best get outside then and do nothing because normal while I do it all. been up to the shop to pick up a local red for Emily's boss. Uh, don't be dissuaded by what I'm wearing either, it is very, very hot. I'm having to wear sleeves and trouser legs because my skin is just not handed in the sun. Emily, however, is coping fine. I think it's because of where you come from. Straight from hell. Oh, I knew you were <laughs> It's hot. Oh, every, every time. Go slow, slow. Slow? It's like a flipping conservatory in here. Are you letting Joni lead? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a little island, we can't get that lost. Leave them? Oh, God. We never get in there. <laughs> well, we've lost Joni already, but it was our fault. We've had to come back. There's no bins here, and we left AJ's dog poo behind, so we've just come back to get it. Got the poo. This is something no one shows you on the videos. If there's no bins, you have to carry your dog poo around. In the, in the heat, it's lovely, in isn't it? In the heat, yes. We do have a little tin, but it's right at the back of the cupboard. Let's try this again. Take two. I reckon I can catch her up. There she is. Oh, she wants me to go left when I fit down there. When I fit, when I fit, when I fit. Ooh. How much do you love driving around these little like villages and in and out of the tight? I don't mind. This one's all right. It's just the the overhanging things you got to watch out for. Like you'll fit, you'll fit, you'll fit, and then all of a sudden there'll be a balcony that's like a meter off the ground, and you're like, well, now I don't fit. What's my going? Do you try and look to you? I'm just going to try and go for the gate. We have come to a campsite. It's just easier in this weather because we can get a nice pitch under the trees. There, like I say, there isn't very much wild parking here and what there is is pretty much in full sun. So when they're this cheap, you don't mind. So Emily's just gone to see if she can get us and Joni a pitch and then we're going to have a little, uh, a little wander, I think. 20 minutes later. We've had to rush off the campsite. We've seen something really cool. Now you remember in last week's video, we tried to take you to a lighthouse and failed miserably. This week, we've got a plan. This is our plan. <laughs> Are you going? Yeah, I'm going. Um, how much do you weigh? Because there's a 30 kilogram weight limit at the front seat. Hi, <gasps> you! Right, move your ass, Joan, it's on your brain. Speed pedal, 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 <laughs> I told you we'll have to take it in turns. How's it going, Joni? I'm fine. <laughs> How's it going up front, Em? Easy breezy, me, mate. Easy breezy. Oh, go, go. You're doing well, Joni. Speed bump. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> You just let me know when I've got to make the right, Emily. Oh, now. 
over for our first pit stop, change of driver. We're getting overtaken left, right and centre, aren't we? Yeah, we don't matter because it's all loads of fun. Are you driving? Uh, OK. Are you steering? <laughs> OK. Oh, it's going to get interesting now, folks. You scared, Joan? Are you yep, worried? Yeah, I'm scared. I've got to sit in the front. Are you going, are you going in the front? <laughs> I might have granny flap mode. <laughs> <laughs> granny flaps. Oh, That's a new one. <laughs> don't drop me out, will we? Yeah, I'm in now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right, 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 steer right, steer ah. right. <laughs> Hurry up, come his car. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> starboard, steer to the starboard. Oh yeah, this is a good game, I like this. Yeah. Oh, shit, my pants are <laughs> all right, I'm okay. <laughs> I can report two of us are shitting ourselves. <laughs> One of us is just giggling, which is not, not endorsing much confidence. It's good that I'm seeing the phone properly. Well, just look where you're going. Drop right, keep to the right, keep to the right. You're well in the middle here. Yeah. I've got two foot, look! Yeah, I've got two foot of road this time. Right, this is what it was like when you were steering. Bonjour! The seat doesn't come forward enough for me. I'm like right on the edge of my seat. I'm on the edge of my seat as well. <laughs> I'm loving my seat. Look where you're going. <laughs> Go right a bit, mate. Go right a bit. Left, 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 left. left. Right. Bonjour! Bonjour. Ladies, push! <laughs> we're, pushing you, we're pushing you! You are the worst coxswain ever. We can't park it here, we need to the bike space. Yeah, this is the bike park. Bit. I'm not into the bin. Come on, Darwin, I'm turning! Oh, you're turning, you're turning. Oh. Lovely bit of parking there, Joan. No, that's a good that. bit of parking. Break every break. <laughs> we, haven't got, we haven't got a bike chain. I reckon if somebody nicks it, we could chase them faster than <laughs> That's true, actually. Even in my. I nominate you for that job. You've got the biggest mouth and the fastest legs. Oh. Emily and Joni have just gone to check out the lighthouse, which is just behind me there. I'm staying here with the Granny Flatmobile, <laughs> that's what I've named it, uh, just for security, plus all my cameras are here. And then we're gonna head back to make sure AJ and Summer are okay. It'll get too hot for them around about lunchtime, but we're parked up in the shade. It was only two miles to get here. It says on Google Maps, 10 minutes on a bike. It took us nearly an hour in this thing, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. This lighthouse was built in 1685 and is around 43 metres in height. And along this pathway here, there's loads of little um, information boards that you can see how it's changed over the years and how they used to use different types of gas for the lights, how it then went to electric, how they then added the black stripes on it to make it more visible. And it's actually really good to see how it evolved over the years since that first installation date. And now it's not been manned since 1998 and it's actually controlled by a centre in La Rochelle, which is quite cool. Your chariot arrives. Any good, the lighthouse? house? Can I pedal? You wanna pedal? Can I pedal? Yeah, I like pedaling. Do you want me to pedal, Louise? No, no, I'll pedal and steer. I don't know what you're trying to say. I feel like I'm a good steerer, kind of. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I've got a nice pair of shoes in there. Right? I'd pay 50 euros for them. Quite hard. There is no way I am giving you a full two minute tour of this heat, but we will show you the campsite very quickly on our way to the beach. But first, hands washing. We have a pitch just behind us there in the shade and it's so, so close to the beach, it's unreal. It would normally be about £15 a night, but because we're sharing a pitch, it works out as eight, or actually £7.97 a night. How cool is that? Per van, so per van. for each of us. Yeah, for each of us. Uh, this is the toilet, showers are here somewhere. Right, let's hit the sand. Let's do it, let's do it. 
<laughs> that sand is hot. And that is it, the beach is literally a stone's throw from the campsite. Uh, are you going to mention your ridiculously stupid hat? Oh, quite, I... quite a lot of you gave me a lot of jip in the last uh, video because I wear a hat in the swim pool. Now it's 37 degrees here in the sun some days, isn't it? It is, it's really hot. If I don't go swimming with a hat on, I will surely die. So, I bought myself a proper swimming hat. And doesn't she look dapper? Do I give a toss? No. Now all around this coastline, Emily's been having an issue that stopped her from getting in the sea. Is that a no? It's definitely no. I'm not doing it. I don't think he's alive. Can they still sting you if they're dead? Oh yeah. Can they? Yeah, they can suck you under the water, wrap right, themselves around your neck. you're such an idiot. I, don't, I just can't do it because what if it comes like one comes near me? Well, it's bigger than you, so you'll just be suffocated underneath like, I'll it. I'll go like that, and then I'll end up like trying to get away and I'll touch it. But you're adamant today you're going to give it a go, aren't you? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to brave it. I'm going to brave it. We sent Joni down earlier for jellyfish watch. Have you seen any? No, nope, not one. Not a single jellyfish. She wouldn't tell me even if she had. You are going in. <laughs> You've got 23 minutes on the memory card, so don't faff for too long. Shut up. You know what you like? Look, I've got to look for jellyfish first, Louise. <laughs> you have to watch out. Watch out for jellyfish, yeah, I know. Oh, 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 <laughs> that potion ain't on me, because I'll tell you what, then you'll fall out. Didn't like your mother then. You did, you look just like your mother. It's all right, she's lovely. Kath, she just said that for the camera, she don't mean it. <laughs> that is not nice. I do, Mum, you are lovely. Are you going? No, I don't need to. I don't are want you to actually swim. not going? No, why do I need to swim? Because that's what we come down here for, a swim after our long bicycle ride. <laughs> it's cold, isn't it? One, two, three. <laughs> you need to put your hat to the test, Louise. See if it works. That's it. Do you clip up? Yeah, clip this up. I don't know why you're mocking me. Because you're going to have a date. <laughs> and I'm not. And you guys thought you were going to be able to see her without her hat on swimming. It did lift. I think they might have got a bit excited because there wasn't a lift. <laughs> right, we're going to have a swim, get back, sort AJ out, and then we're going to head to the port. To the port? To, to the, the port. port. See you in a bit. We've walked a few minutes up to the port. The town we're staying in is called... St. Dennis, Dennis Doloron. St. <laughs> Dennis Doloron. Uh, the reason we've come here this morning, this is where we picked the bike thing up from this morning, Emily saw something that's took her eye. So me and Joni have had a very healthy salad for dinner before coming down. Someone else wasn't so healthy. A salad's not my favourite. Anyway, we're going to check this place out. Yeah, that's the waffles, Joni. I'm surprised you've not pre-translated this menu before we came. Shut Louise. Honestly, I'm not that bad. Yeah. Nutella, banana, cream, bun. I'll have a waffle as well, please. With vanilla ice cream and Nutella sauce. I was well under pressure then. I don't even know if I've got anything that yeah, I've done. Like pressure purchase. Yeah, I've done a pressure purchase. But I didn't want anything too chocolatey. Because like when you have a waffle, you don't want like loads of, like you need fresh, fresh. So I've gone for vanilla. You don't like fruit? <laughs> Strawberries or anything like that. I ain't having that on my dessert, Joe. Exactly. Like. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That looks awesome. Look at it. Here comes mine. Here comes mine. Yeah. Oh, merci. Merci. I'm wishing I asked for two scoops of ice cream. <laughs> well, I ain't sharing because that's not the rules, is it? time anyone will ever see you share. It's the only time I'll ever share. You've got a queue now, eh? I know. He might. Yeah. It was well worth all that peddling to have that all that waffle. <laughs> I think though, what tops the waffle was the little birds. Oh my god, the little birds, it was so cute and they would just come up and they was eating it. And I've checked on the internet and it says that it's okay to have them just as a little bit. 
and also not being funny them sparrows are there all the time i reckon they live on waffles what life though eh? i know but i'd love it living <laughs> here eating waffles anyway aj has been very very patient in the restaurant so we're now taking him down to the beach for his nightly run around yeah he's gonna love it bless him. i bought his ba double out After spending nearly two weeks on this tiny little French island, it was time to leave. We were back on the road and back to the mainland, knocking off quite a few miles until eventually arriving in what I can only imagine doggy heaven would look like. <laughs> I love it, look at them all. Good evening, folks. We are off the island. It has been a very long day, so we lost you for a little while. We've just pulled up to this cracking little park up right on a river amongst a load of hay bales, and I'm just turning the van around because uh, I was pointing the wrong way around for what we're about to do because we are going to set up for a relaxing after a long, hot day movie night. Provided I don't reverse into the river. Or Ooh. smash everything that's left on the side. Easy breezy, 19 points, 19 point turn. I am just setting up for a movie night. I'm very excited about this. Anchor have been kind enough to send us out the world's first extreme outdoor projector. So this is the Nebula Mars 3. Thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. There's quite a few features for this projector that I'm really excited about. So it's got an IPX3 waterproof rating. I can drop it from half a meter. So if I'm carrying it or it falls out the back of the van, which has happened before, then it'll be all right. And it's also 0.7 millimeters dust proof, which for us is really important. When you are traveling with a dog and a cat and you're going to places like we've been to, so the beach, there's a lot of sand, dust, bits, dirt in our van. So it's very, very important that this can withstand all of that. It has got a five hour battery life, that is huge. Now our last projector sometimes would struggle to go for a whole movie. So the fact that it lasts so much longer and you haven't got to get power banks out or stop to charge up halfway through is a massive plus. And to turn it on, you just open up that and it turns on itself automatically. And then round here, now it does come with a remote control, which is obviously handy, but on the handle, this, this tells you the battery life that's left. And then on here, you've got the controls as well. So you don't need to carry anything extra. And you don't even need a tripod because under here, you've got a little built-in tilty tripod thing as well, which means you can just pop it on your table or whatever you've got already in the van for your camping and you are set up. But seeing as we don't have a big table, I'm using my tripod because I've always got that anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna grab Emily who's making the popcorn and then we're gonna settle down. It's just about to get dark and watch a film. What Lou hasn't told you is my favorite bit. It's got a 40 watt speaker and it sounds so good. It's like you're in an actual cinema and could really have reached the highest level of quality and excellence with this projector with its industry first outdoor protection. Oh, and I haven't showed you the best bit yet. Oh yeah, you like this. So this is really cool. Under this little flap, you have some USB things here so you can charge your phone while you're watching a movie. And here, a little torch, three settings. So if you're scared of the dark like Emily and your movie runs late, you can turn the light on and you're not so worried. That's right. That's what they say. It is very cool because of the laser technology, the high definition and high resolution picture looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh, it really does it look amazing. If you want to check out this projector for yourself, then of course, all the details you need will be in the description, a link to the website, everything you need on there. Go and check it out. We're really pleased with it. Now, if you don't mind, you're going to have to bugger off because we're going to watch this and then get an early one. Definitely. And some snacks. And obviously some snacks. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Well, I say morning, it's about 11, half past 11. We was up pretty late last night watching movies under the stars. Really, really cool. So we just stayed out here. Um, this park up is pretty special. I've really enjoyed this one. Uh, there's no one else here, just us, all alone on the banks of the river. About once an hour, the farmers might come past in their tractor. They're not bothered by us being here at all. In fact, they've said hello, had a bit of a wave. And yeah, they're just bailing up their hay, taking it off. They go over the bridge, drop it somewhere, come back and then do the whole process again. So that's been pretty cool. We do need to think about going north now though. We've not got loads of Schengen days left because obviously we used the load earlier in the year and we are trying to escape the heat. However, we are stuck in this French heat wave. Now we was originally planning on this trip to go much further south. So down through Bordeaux to Biarritz and do all the surf coast. 
but it's been far too hot so we've just hung around here it doesn't cool down we can't escape it here just by going a little bit north it doesn't cool down until we get all the way back up to Calais or to the UK so we're just going to make a slow pull up north and we need to do it rather gently because AJ's not feeling very well bless him we think it's his arthritis playing up and just making him a bit down we'll keep an eye on that keep you posted I won't go into loads of detail right now because he could be better fingers crossed by tomorrow so yeah I think we're just gonna pack up the vans and hit the road As we meandered across the country heading north, it occurred to me that I really hadn't done enough to show you all how fantastic the sunsets are here in the west. It's a mixed coastline with open beaches, rugged rocks and a beautiful blue sea. We stopped on the coast one final time and spent the night in a little town with its own lighthouse in the hope we'd get one last view of the sun setting out above the ocean. The next day we were back on the road and still heading north. With AJ perking up and Joni in tow, we were off to see some old friends. I wonder if you'd stay If you knew the things I've kept away now, if you've been around a while, you'll know that in social situations like this, we are terrible YouTubers, mostly because we are too busy catching up and trading park ups. So let's move on to the next day when we are getting ready to hit the road again. You never really knew Just how terribly you needed you You are nowhere to be found <laughs> I'm not your coffee wench, I'm a loving wife that makes you a coffee in the morning. Coffee wench? No, it's not a coffee wench. <laughs> it is a coffee it's wench. It's not a coffee wench. <laughs> <laughs> Just accept your fate. What, a coffee wench? Yeah, it's your destiny in life to be my coffee wench. Head of coffee. Head of coffee, yeah. AKA coffee wench. Oh, I folded them up and everything. Oh, well, they, they needed refolding, you've done a crap <laughs> <You're> job. <laughs> oh, where's your stupid sachets then? No, no, no. It's in the pot, Louise, remember? Tim the pot the weeds, remember? remember how many I put in there? Three heap spoonfuls. As head of coffee, I think I know the <laughs> rules I've got to go to. Check, don't I? I am the coffee wench after all. It feels good, man. <laughs> it feels good, right? <laughs> Good morning everyone, so apologies we lost you for a few days there, it was just too hot to do any kind of like travel vlogging kind of events. AJ however is much better now I'm happy to report, it was his arthritis but a few days rest, chilling out, he is fine. We're going to get back on the road today, we've got a couple of jobs to do, we're just about to get the awning in. Now you'll have seen the awning in the drone shot, some of you might panic and say oh you can't have your awning out in France very much accepted and you get a sense of where you can and can't do it and the uh, gendarmerie which is like their police one of their police services came in yesterday no problem whatsoever and it has been a godsend in this hot weather but yeah a few jobs to do and then we're gonna hit the road i'm good to you look ah oh, you're so nice aren't you coffee winch now you know your camera's on you're being kind <laughs> You're gonna say hello to the vlog. Hello vlog, it's too early for me. You know, I don't do mornings. Look, I can't even speak. This is the first coffee of the day. Are you sure this is gonna be safe? Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, because I'm the one that's doing it, not you. Whenever Emily goes in the garage, because the bed's so high off the ground, all I can see is her little head, so she's just like this floating head, just going backwards and forwards. As we have been parked under trees for weeks, our roof fence are absolutely full of crap and leaves and all sorts, so it's my job to give them a bit of a clean out. Thank you, Newt. Oh, 
Oh, this ain't half bad, you know. Nice morning. Whilst Emily is doing that, I'm going to clean the solar panel because no doubt that is covered in bird poo and I'm basing my assessment on the van. Check this out. One of the downsides for us parking in the shade for days on end, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but the van is absolutely smothered in bird's crap and I'm guessing it's all over the roof as well. Luckily though, Gadget John is around, which means there's always tools and cleaning stuff and stuff for looking after vehicles that we just don't carry. So <laughs> I'm gonna do the solar panel and then yeah, maybe in the next day or two, we'll hopefully find a car wash. We've been struggling for solar on this trip, believe it or not, with how hot it's been and how much sun there's been, more than any other trip. So this is the first time I'm really having to check the power. And the reason for that is because it's so hot, we're having to park in shade. And I mean, when I can, like full shade, so fully in trees. And obviously that means we're not getting any solar. So if we're somewhere for like three or four days, it starts to run quite low. So yeah, if you're doing summer van life and you think it's brilliant, because I'm gonna have loads of solar, bear in mind, especially if you've got pets, you will need to park in the shade a lot of the time and you're not going to get any solar. So yeah, struggling for solar on the hottest trip we've ever done. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. You got nice clean panels now? We've got a nice clean fanny. Hey. <laughs> Everyone likes clean fanny. They do like a clean fanny. And we'll see you both in some other country sometime oh, soon. Oh yeah. Yes. We should start having like little stickers on the back of the van just where we meet. Where we meet. countries. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's got to be so many different countries. We're going to have to do a different yeah. country every time we meet. I've yep. just had a, a thought about what we could call it. Oh, go on, um. A fanny tick list. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a fanny checklist and on that note, we'll see you later. See you later. If you plan to come down this side of France, it is absolutely brilliant for like wild camping, nice chilled attitude, services, all those kind of things. But there's not loads to see and do on the way. So it's very agricultural. It's a lot of farming land. And like I say, the relaxed attitude is great. Mm -hmm. But we have found a little pit stop we're going to make. Emily's found something in the water she wants to go and have a look at. Behind me is Serpent the Ocean and it was created by a Chinese French artist. It's 130 meters in length and it is tidal. When the tide's all the way out, you can walk around all of it. And when the tide's in, you can still see its head and the vertebrae, but it's here to represent imaginary sea creature. And what they're hoping is over the years that it will just be a life for marine animals and stuff. And it will attract loads of animals and things because of all the moss and, is it moss? What is it that grows on it? The green stuff that grows around like sculptures. It is a very impressive sculpture. Hopefully I've done it justice so you guys can see how cool it is because I'm pretty impressed. But for now, we're heading a bit further north and we're getting on that bridge to do it. We are six miles away from the park up we had pinned, but we've just driven past what looks like a really cool swimming lake. There's always a woman in my year old, aren't there, when I'm trying That's to say something. That's right. Uh, so we're going to go and check it out, and if it's better than what we think we was going to, we're going to hang out there for a day. That is the beauty of having a van, is you can just... I can just stop and turn around and, yeah, easy breezy. Take me out, I want to see. A bit wonky, but... Yeah. What we're saying, then we're stopping here? Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah, fancy. Looks right, doesn't it? Fancy a bit of swimming, Joni? I fancy a bit of swimming. Yeah. Fancy a bit of swimming. Yeah. Fancy a bit of swimming. very warm today. Is it? Because <laughs> I feel like it's cold. I don't want to put my feet on the I bottom. The weather's warm. Oh, I don't want to put my feet on the bottom because I haven't got my shoes on. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
I don't want to go on the floor, so I've got my shoes on. I'm just sand, you'll be fine. No, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, folks, for the unstable footage, but right there's... Get off! Just let go! Go! Be free! In case anyone was wondering, yes, the twat hat is out. Look at your loving life. Twat hat is such. Oh, don't come near me like that. <laughs> Look at this absolute nutter doing a workout in this heat after we've been for a swim. But it doesn't matter though, because we've got a few bits of kit. They're an absolute game changer when you're doing van life in this heat. Because we're in France, you can pretty much always find water, which is making it really easy for us to shower. It's quite common to see that in France as well, a parking height meter. So on car parks like this, so sometimes they'll have a height barrier for the main car park, but still leave a little bit at the front designated for camping cars. And then that way, everyone's got ample parking. So there's enough parking space for the day visitors. And then this massive bit here for camping cars. So this is our solar shower and you saw it a few weeks ago and you just basically fill it up with water, pop it in the sun and already that's at 47 degrees. So more than hot enough, probably too hot actually for a shower. And then a bit of extra water. This is an old van life hack now. This is uh, fill up some clear plastic bottles, leave them in the sun and Bob your uncle, you've got hot water. And that one over there is gonna need it because you look a sweaty mess. I am. That's an interesting pose you've got going on there. I'm doing my stretching now. And as you can see, AJ has moved to the shade. He is very, very good at regulating his own body temperature. So he likes the sun, but he knows he can't sit in it for too long. So he's very good at moving back into the shade. And like I said, he is much better now than he was a few days ago when he was feeling sorry for himself. Ain't you, buddy? He might look a bit tired because he's been lazing around, but um, he's a happy little soldier again. We don't need a destination. Let's go where the river's taken. It's too hot. <laughs> between 47 and 50 degrees. So you've all seen the shower that we hang on the back of the um, ladder and then just whoosh, 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 whoosh. But now we have this cool little thing that Mandy gave us and I'll show you how it works. So you just pop off the lid, screw this one on, she says, like so. And then, look at that. And you can control it by how much like you push out and stuff. But the, also the other cool thing about this is that we can use it to sort of like wash AJ down if he's rolled in poo or if he just needs to cool down a little bit. So it's proper nice, right? Look. Yeah, so if full you shower. don't want to get a full shower out and you just want to wash your hair over a bowl yeah. or shave your legs in a bowl in the van, ideal. It is, isn't it? It's you just good. chuck that bottle in yeah. your windscreen when it's hot or, you know, like today when it's outside and you've mm -hmm. got hot water on the go. Obviously, we know this, like a plastic bottle getting warm is not a new thing. We understand that, but it is for us because we've never been away in heat before. <laughs> it's great, I love it. Tell you what, being able to have a shower in this heat is an absolute marvel, isn't it? Ah, oh, absolutely loving it. So we're all fresh and clean, which is a good job because we've got some new neighbours and we don't want the French van lifers thinking us English van lifers are smelly. <laughs> Definitely not, we smell all lovely now. Emily's got pasta and meatballs on, it's good because when it's hot like this and we're parked in the shade, we can still cook, can't we? Yeah, because we can have all the doors open, the wind blows through and it's lovely. Yes, and van life in a heat wave has definitely been a challenge for us, but we're making the most of it and finding ways to enjoy it, aren't we? Yes, and I'm loving the old showers outside. It's great, it's a new change, isn't it? I bet some of you lot are loving Emily showering outside oh. as well. <laughs> on that note, uh, we'll see you on the next one. So please do remember to do the thumbs up, hit ding the bell and hit the subscribe button. Yes, and the fairy said thank you. So if you know, you know, you tuned in last week and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.